गाइस वेलकम टू वीटीश अकेडमी डॉट कॉम एंड हियर इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट इम्प्लीकेशन इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट स्टेटमेंट्स सो हियर इन दिस प्रेजेंटेशन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट इम्प्लीकेशन सो द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द फॉर्म इफ देन इज कॉल्ड एज कंडीशनल और इम्प्लीकेशन एंड इट कैन बी डिनोटेड बाय द सिंबल इम्प्लाइज वी कैन ऑल्सो डिफाइन इम्प्लीकेशन विद द हेल्प ऑफ एन थ्रू टेबल so here we have three columns the first two column gives the truth values for p and q and the last column gives the truth value for p implies q so if both the statement p and q are the true statements then the truth value for p implies q would come as true and if p is a true statement and q is false then the truth value for p implies q is false statement and if p is a false statement and q is a true statement then the truth value for p implies q is a true statement and if both the statements p and q are the false statement then the truth value for p implies q would come as true statement here we observe that when the p is a true statement and q is false statement then the truth value for p implies q is false and in rest of the conditions it is a true Now let me explain this concept with the help of an example over here. So here we have the statement if 3 plus 5 is equal to 5 then 1 into 0 is equal to 0. Now let us consider the first statement as p and the second statement as q. We observe that both the statements p and q are the true statements and hence the truth value for p implies q is also a true statement. And coming to the next example here we have if 3 6 times is 20 then 2 plus 7 is equal to 9 now let us consider the statements as a and b so here we observe that the statement a is a false statement as 3 6 times is 18 and the b statement is a true statement and therefore the truth value for p implies q is a true statement now let us consider another example here we have if 5 multiplied 6 times is equal to 30 then 2 divided by 1 is equal to 1 let us consider both the statements as r and s and we observe here r is a true statement and s is a false statement as 2 divided by 1 is equal to 2 so here the truth value for p implies q would be a false statement In our next example we have the conditional statement as if 6 6 times is 42 then 6 divided by 2 is 4 Let us consider both the statements as C and D We observe that both the statements are false and hence we get the truth value for P implies Q as a true statement Now let us consider another example Here we have the statement r as 7 is an odd number and the statement s is 10 is an even number. Now let us find the truth value for r implies s. So first let us draw a truth table here. We have three columns. The first two column gives the truth value for r and s and the last column gives the truth value for r implies s. If both the statements r and s are the true statements then the truth value for r implies s is also a true statement and if r is true and s is false then the truth value for r implies s would be also a false statement and if r is a false statement and s is a true statement then the truth value for r implies s is a true statement and if both the statements r and s are the false statement then the truth value for r implies s is a true statement so this was a basic introduction on implication hope you understood the concept do like and subscribe to vtchacademy.com thanks for watching have a nice day